Hello guys welcome back, if you are new here make sure you have subscribed for more updates on trending entertainment news. I'm your host Nancy Brown. So, what's trending today? Lil TJ was shot seven times last summer in an attempted robbery in New Jersey, and the harrowing ordeal appears to still be haunting the leaked rapper. Taking to Twitter on Saturday, TJ revealed he's been suffering from PTSD and even chalked up his recent struggles to the disorder, though he didn't specify which struggles. I be feeling like I'm gonna die but I ain't trying to go, the Bronx native wrote. That's why I be steady going through what I go through I got PTSD. Will TJ could be referring to his recent arrests, having been taken into custody twice in January alone. While en route to shoot a video with Ice Spice earlier in the month, TJ was pulled over for a traffic stop that ultimately led to his arrest after officers reportedly found a handgun in his vehicle. He was released on a $90,000 bond days later. Less than two weeks after that, Lil TJ was arrested on gun charges for a second time. However, his attorney Don Florio explained that his arrest stemmed from a misunderstanding in regards to his initial arrest. While the Calling My Phone rapper had been slated to appear in court on January 20th, the judge allowed him to bypass the court date and simply pay his bond in order to be released. Unfortunately, that decision was not properly communicated to others connected to the case. He was excused from appearing in court last Friday by the arraignment judge, Florio told All Hip Hop. Another judge revoked his bond and put him back in jail for missing court on Friday even though he was told by the first judge that he did not have a peer. The attorney went on to confirm that Lil TJ's family paid for him to be released a second time, and that he is once again free as he awaits his trial, which is set for Tuesday. TJ was left in a coma for five days after getting shot and required emergency surgery to remove a bullet that was lodged in his neck. Speaking to Rolling Stone upon his recovery, TJ said that the ordeal made him realize his purpose. I got airlifted into the sky at 2.22, and it was June 22, 2022, he said. When I searched those numbers, it was like God's giving you the opportunity to change. I questioned God before that. I don't anymore. I know God's real, a billion percent. He added, I'm not on no tough guy shit, or on some angel shit. I feel like a miracle kid. I feel like my purpose is bigger than I know. I'm just trying to figure out what life got in store for me. I know that I'm destined to win. A 27-year-old man named Mohammed Khanate was arrested shortly after the shooting. He's been charged with three counts of first-degree attempted murder, three counts of first-degree armed robbery, and multiple weapons-related offenses. That's it for today, thanks for watching. Tell us what you think in the comments section and most importantly subscribe. See you.